guys, it's Megan, and you know what time it is. Empties time! So, we have some stuff to go over, and my bin is, like, not nearly as full, and I just, like, calculated how much I used up, and I used up a lot more, like, money-wise than I thought that I did, because this month, I don't know, like, why, but I just wasn't really using up a lot of stuff and I think like I really don't have any deluxe size things anymore. I used up so many of them in the past few months so I have like just full sizes to work through. But anyhow in um, July 2016 I used up $172.50 worth of makeup and skincare. I do not include body or hair products in that total but um i'm impressed because a lot of the things that i used up were things that i had purchased in the past that i used up so i used up 145 dollars of my own purchases and that makes me feel really good to work through things that i purchased with my own money and got 145 dollars worth of use out of them and that just makes me feel awesome so i am going to start of course with the makeup so i um used up two of my mascaras this month they both um dried out because i was using them simultaneously the dior show iconic over curl and the urban decay perversion so the dior show is one that i have repurchased several times. The first time I got this was a gift from my friend Ellie whose blog is Beauty Products Junkie and this is one of her favorite mascaras and she so sweetly gifted it to me and it is a wonderful mascara. The curve of it fits perfectly to really just get my eye shape and just wiggle it up and just make that beautiful volume. It really does like help my eyelashes keep a curl. I don't have too big of a problem with that, but this is a mascara I really enjoy. I think this is my third or fourth tube that I've gone through of this, but this mascara is $29.50. When I just looked that up on Sephora to see the prices to total my numbers, I was like, holy shit, Megan. Like, can like what I can't justify that so I really really love this mascara it's a great treat for yourself or for a gift for someone that enjoys high-end makeup but it's just not worth $30 to me I love my L'Oreal Voluminous and that's like way less than $10 then for the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, I had a sample of this when they um, released this last summer or two summers ago. I love the brush. It's a like really fluffy brush, really nice for volume and just making nice fluttery lashes. This mascara is $22. I don't think it's worth that. I think that it's good and nice, but um, not something I would repurchase. I decided to retire this beauty blender. This is the purple one. I bought this on Amazon a long, long time ago, and I have beauty blenders that I purchased for myself for Christmas last year, so I just started to use the pink one, and I love beauty blenders. They're something that I always want to keep on hand because I really, really enjoy the way that they apply makeup, and um, yeah, so another one bites the dust. Always will have one of those. For a sample, I used up this Amaro Vixa Complexion Perfector BB Cream in the light shade. So I got samples, there's two other samples from Amaro Vixa in here that I got when I purchased my birthday gifts to myself from them. And um, this was something I really enjoyed, but after using up this whole packet, which this packet probably lasts me like a week, like seven full days of applications out of this little packet. Um, it's a nice color match for me. I like the texture of it. It covered more than you would expect from a BB cream, which is something that's common in the reviews of this product. Um, my, I guess there's two hesitations I have. The price is the obvious one. The full size of this is $135 and what I was thinking about when using this was, well, it's your moisturizer, your like foundation, and your SPF all in one. So that's three products 
for the price of one so you don't have to buy all those extra things which is nice but I didn't absolutely love as I wore it more and more I didn't love the way that it looked on my skin by the end of the day um I did feel like it ended up looking a little bit heavy on my skin some days and I don't know if it's because it has been really warm when I have been trying this out. Maybe it's better for the winter. I would definitely want to try this again if I got a sample of it, but um, it's definitely not something that I would run out and purchase by any means. I did like it, but I would just need to see if it works better in the winter for me, but even still, I don't know if I could ever justify that price. Okay, this I'm like bummed at myself about this. This is a um, chapstick that Caitlin made me. Um, she is like so talented at everything because you guys know she made me that Kentucky plaque with the like thread and she's like just so artistically talented. Amazing, amazing. Um, and she has been getting into making her own like bath bombs and like lip balms and stuff like that. So she made me this and she put on it, Smiling's my favorite, which I love Elf. So she put that on from Elf and I loved it, but it was my error that I, oh God, you can see, I twisted it up to see how much more I had left of it, but it wouldn't twist back down. So then I had to like smush it and it just isn't, like good anymore but I think all she used in this was coconut oil and vitamin E oil if I remember correctly um, it was very very simplistic ingredients and really nice and moisturizing for my lips all natural and um, if I ask Caitlin to make me more I'm sure she would but I really did like this but I'm just like pissed at myself for twisting it up that's like the project painter in me makes that mistake all the time and then I kick myself for doing it. Do any of you guys do that? It like annoys me to no end. And then the last like makeup y thing, this isn't really makeup, but um this little nest indigo roller ball, the perfume. Wow, what an amazing, unique scent. I love this perfume and I definitely want to purchase this in the winter time if I feel like I want to treat myself to a new perfume because I have quite a few perfumes right now but this will definitely be a perfume that I purchase in the future. It's like a warm scent but such a unique scent. I don't know how to describe it. If you can go to a store and smell this I think a lot of you guys would like it. It's very different, but very, very good. So loved that to pieces. Okay, my Caress Sheer Twilight Shower Gel. I love Caress body washes. They're very inexpensive. This bottle lasted me, I would say, three months, which is nuts because I am a cereal shower gel over user. Like, I use so much of it, and I probably don't need to use as much as I do but this lasted me three months which is amazing for me I think this is between three and four dollars the scents of whoa my dad just opened the door and it scared the crap out of me the scents of these are amazing this this says that it's black orchid and juniper oil they just smell like Victoria's Secret scents. They're super, super good body washes. They don't make me feel like really stripped. They don't make me feel moisturized really, but they, I just really love these. I dyed my hair recently with the John Frieda 3VR Deep Cherry Brown, which I believe this is my last container of this because I'm really trying not to purchase hair dye like before I actually need it because then I have colors that I don't really love. So um, going back to this after I've used various brands for the past few times that I dyed my hair. I used to only use John Frieda because this precision foam is super super easy to use. Amazingly easy and I've used it for years but after using Vidal Sassoon and most recently the L'Oreal Feria those maintain the vivid like purplish tone way better than the John Frieda does. I feel like this is already looking kind of dull in my hair and I literally re-dyed this 
like two weeks ago. So um, I'm pretty sure this is my last John Frieda box that I have. I used to swear by this and I do like it but I think that now that I have opened my eyes to other brands there are definitely more brands that give longer results for my hair color than this. So I would definitely um, purchase the L'Oreal Feria one. That one was amazing. For shampoo, I use up the Suave um, Black Raspberry and White Tea Color Care Shampoo. So this um, I purchased because it's in a green bottle and I was trying to get something more natural before I like really researched what natural products are all about. And this bottle is just green. It's not a natural product, but I did really like it. I thought that it was more moisturizing, which I prefer in a shampoo, but not so moisturizing that it made my hair oily, which has happened in the past with moisturizing shampoos. So I did like this. I love how inexpensive it is, but I have decided to test out some more natural um, shampoos and just see how that goes, but I did like this. I finally used up the Sea Booth Ginger Sugar Body Scrub, which I bought a long time ago from Ulta. I like the scent of this. It's not my favorite. Um, it's okay, but I am going to be making my own scrubs once I use up. I think I have two or three more scrubs to work through, but after that I'm gonna make my own. And um, yeah, I liked it. It had nice granules in it to exfoliate, but um, definitely not like something I would repurchase. I used up Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. Now I am trying a Tom's toothpaste, so um, we'll see how I prefer that. I'm liking it okay so far, but it's not as minty as this one, so we'll see. But if you have a more natural minty toothpaste recommendation, please let me know because I'm very interested in finding a more minty toothpaste. Oh, speaking of Tom's, I tried this little um, sample size that I got from Pinch Me. This is the Rapid Relief Sensitive Toothpaste, fluoride-free, natural, fresh mint, not very minty. Um, I like this sample size. Honestly, I should have saved this for going on vacation, but I didn't even think about it. So um, this was pretty good. I like I liked it, but I don't have problems with sensitive teeth. So this isn't a product that I would repurchase for myself, but I thought that it was pretty good. I used up another one of my Jack Black um, Lip Balms Natural Mint and Shea Butter. I kept this one at my desk at work and I was like twisting it and contorting it in all different ways to get every last drop out of it. Love this stuff so much. I think I only have one more in my purse and then that's all that I have. So I do want to repurchase this. I'm trying to hold out for the November VIB sale to get 20% off. Um, so I'm hoping that the one that I have left will last me that long, but I'm sure I can survive a few months without this if I use it up, but this is a holy grail product, super moisturizing, SPF for lip, lip balms is so important to me, and I just love this. I used up this um, sample, like deluxe size of the Polish Choice Resist Cellular Defense Daily Moisturizer with SPF 25. I cut it open to get all of the product out. And this was a very moisturizing um, daytime moisturizer. And I use it in the daytime because it has SPF, so you don't really need that at night. But I think that it was too moisturizing for my skin. I did like it, and I mostly used it on my neck and chest because on my face it was a little bit too hydrating for the 90 degree and up super humid weather that we have been having. So um, it was just a little too much for my skin in this heat, but I think that it's a good one. It has titanium dioxide for the sunscreen. Um, I'm using a really good Michelle face sunscreen right now that has zinc oxide and a little bit of titanium dioxide, but I'm really liking that one because it's not 
like super super glowy and hydrating like that one the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. I have loved this for years. I love that it has a pump even in these small sizes. It smells like blueberries, which I love, um, but it's very moisturizing, similar to the Polish Choice that when you put it on your skin, it's very moisturizing, but it's also very glowy and um, sometimes I don't really want to be super glowy before I even start to apply my makeup. So this was my last one of the Josie Marin um, Daily Argan Moisturizers and I do love this stuff and I have raved about it for years but right now I am not in the market for another sunscreen and I am wanting to find a new sunscreen that isn't quite as glowy and I really do want like a tinted moisturizer that just incorporates sunscreen in the product. That is like my goal for a more ingredient conscious base product for when I'm ready to buy that. So um, yeah, I am intrigued about just finding a one step like tinted moisturizer for the morning to be my moisturizer, my SPF and my color. That would be like amazing. I finally used up this Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream with Super 7 Complex, whatever that is. My grandparents bought this for me for Christmas last year and I finally got around to using it up. It has the same cucumber, I always want to say tzatziki sauce just because that's the only thing I really ever eat with cucumber in it, but it is just like a cucumber scent, so it's not like you're eating a gyro or a gyro. Um, Smells really good actually, now I want a euro, oh my god. Okay, so this was good. I used this as a nighttime moisturizer. It wasn't super heavy, it wasn't super light. It was like a really nice texture for a moisturizer. Would I buy it? No. Um, this little size is, let's see, $17. It's half a fluid ounce and I don't know, that's pretty expensive. I have purchased really expensive um, face creams in the past and I'm just like not really about that life right now <laughs> like I want to find things that are less expensive that work just as well for me and so that was nice to try but I wouldn't purchase it myself the um, MAC cleanse off oil I have wanted to try this for a long time and when I bought those empty MAC palettes for my birthday this came as a free sample so I was really excited about that and this really worked well to remove my makeup did it work better than anything else that I've tried no it rinsed off really nicely which is important to me it didn't leave a residue but I wouldn't buy this anyhow because I am trying to find a just like a natural oil that I can use as a makeup remover the two other Amrovixa uh, samples that I used up the ultra more mud mask and the I cut off part of the name but this is like the melting cleanser so the melting cleanser is a really really expensive makeup remover so it's like a blue it's like a blue um, cream, like a light blue cream. Um, I just felt guilty using this as a makeup remover. Like, I think this is almost $100 for the full size and they're like, no, just no. Um, but I liked this, but it like killed me to use it as a makeup remover. It really, really killed me. So. I would never purchase that. And then the Ultra More Mud Mask, this is similar to like any clay mask that I have tried. You put it on your skin, it's really like dark and charcoal color. And then as it dries, you kind of see like um, your pores and stuff as it's drying. It like doesn't dry in certain places. And it made my skin feel nice. Would I purchase this? No. Um, just not something that I'm super interested. I like don't really like clay masks in general, so I wouldn't buy a super, super expensive one if I were to buy a clay mask. And then the last thing, I know this is like really short for me. It's really weird. Um, the Tata Harper Resurfacing Mask, and this was the Honey Blossom Special Edition from last summer. It's the 
Um, I got the 403rd um, container of this out of 1,500. I love the Honey Blossom formulation. It was a little more moisturizing than the resurfacing mask, like just the normal resurfacing mask. It was really pretty as well. It had a little bit of shimmer in it. Like it, I don't know, it was just like gorgeous to look at. And it was just as effective as the normal resurfacing mask. This mask is one that I highly recommend to anyone if you're looking for just a really all around great mask that helps your skin have a little bit of a glow. It just, I don't know, whenever I have like pimples or like redness, it helps to diffuse that and just calm that down. It's all natural. I love this product from Tata Harper. It's $58, but I absolutely love it. And these pretty much, if I use them regularly, they last me about six months. So I highly, highly recommend this product. And I am currently trying, I purchased a Andalou Naturals fruit enzyme mask to compare to this just to see if they're anywhere like similar at like the results that they give because this is quite a bit less expensive but I don't know if they're comparable at all but I would definitely repurchase this in the future during like any of the Sephora sales to get the 20% off because it's a really really nice all-natural product that I have loved for a long time. So that is it you guys. I know like not not a normal 40 minute Megan empties video, but I'm still really proud of using up as much like money as I did for these products that they're worth. And that just makes me feel really good. Any product that I can use up and get a lot of enjoyment out of and move it out of my collection that just, it feels like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. So I hope you guys enjoyed this even though it is unnaturally short but thank you guys so much for watching anyhow i love you so much and i'll see you really soon bye